We've been reporting for weeks on the spike of carjackers targeting ride share and food delivery drivers. Now one driver is speaking out about what she says happened to her just this past weekend and the quick thinking she says saved her life. She told our investigative reporter Tracy Wilkins she was focused on getting home safely to her family the entire time. The News for I team is looking into rideshare drivers being targeted in carjackings. Parts of our region have seen an uptick, but what happened this past weekend in Fairmont Heights exposes just how dangerous the issue is. Within five hours, there were three carjackings within the same Fairmont Heights neighborhood. On Fairmont Heights. Oh, yeah, that's in uh, PG. Yeah, or is that in the city? No, that's that's across the line, right across. Yeah, the line. yeah, Fairmont Heights, yeah. It got a DC vibe, like more than a PG vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sheriff Road in Eastern, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's right across the street. On Saturday, according to Prince George's County Police, the first one just after five in the evening, then another thirty minutes later, and another at 10 p.m. They all happened around the former Fairmont Heights High School. We know that the first incident at 510 was an attempted carjacking and that these did not get away with the vehicle. We talked to that driver who says she picked up five teens from Southeast DC. When she dropped them off in Fairmont Heights, she says one of the kids pulled a gun and demanded her vehicle. I turned around and I turned right into the gun. He had a nine millimeter pointed at my face. I said, are you serious? Are we really doing this? Come on now, dude. We just had a good time in the car. I'm like your grandma. Would you rob your grandma? I'm talking. <laughs> nah, she really did all that shit though, too. So she chatted it up with them the whole way over there. Got <laughs> the gun on her. Yes, I mean that's just how they are. Like they're they're heartless. You know what I'm saying? Like they're like this is this is this is the thing that I even me because the last time I really been around sons. You know what I'm saying? It was before my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Before my daughter. So it's like, that's 2020 before that. I haven't really been around sons like that. So it's like, I still would sometimes trust a son or get cool with a son. And as much as, 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 as hip as y'all think I am, right? I was still, you know, you get cool with a son and da 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 da, or you develop a rapport with a son, or you drop your guard with a son. And man, I would get burned, man. And it's like, so it's like, I already know, man, like, just because you had a good conversation and you, they told you and y'all laughed and they told you about all their family and shit. That same motherfucker put a gun in your face. Quickly. You know what I'm oh. And it's like, it's like, it's like you just gotta, you gotta kind of treat like sons almost like how they say everybody does treat them, how they project on the man, don't nobody trust them. You they're projecting. You gotta treat them like that. I agree. That's very, very, that's very um, precise when it comes to the whole situation with sons. The way that Bye. they stack is the fucking, the way that they feel, that the way they need to be treated. Like, it's, it's, the, it's so true. That whole, man, I walk into a store, man, they follow me around and this and that. That shit don't happen until you fucking prove that you need to be followed. Yeah. But it, it's just... Yeah, that's that's Agreed. right. And listen, man, I've been I've 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 been around like I've been around killers. I've been around serious hustlers. You know what I'm saying? I've been around Jamaicans. I've been around. You dig what I'm saying? And I okay. still you can still get disarmed and put your guard down. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you just mm -hmm. can't do it. And the reason you can't do it is because the reward is so small. Whatever reward you'll get from this relationship with this son or this 
good, you know what I'm saying, or this. It's nothing. It's zilch. They have nothing to offer you. But the risk on the other side of the coin, it could be your fucking life. Bang. Yeah. Damn, that's a shame. So her vehicle. That turned around and I turned right into the gun. DC. When she dropped them off in Fairmont Heights, she says one of the kids pulled a gun and demanded her vehicle. That turned around and I turned right into the gun. He had a nine millimeter pointed at my I said, Are you serious? Are we really doing this? Come on now, dude. We just had a good time in the car. I'm like your grandma. Would you rob your grandma? I'm talking as much as I can, as fast as I can. The boy looked away, I shoved him really hard and put my foot on the gas and bulleted it. Now, mind you, two of the boys are still in the car because they was expecting me to get out the car. So they're still in my back. <laughs> Dang, she went hard as shit. Man, this this <laughs> reminds me of my grandma, dog. My grandma, God rest her soul. My grandma would have did this dumb shit too. Mm, mm, I mean, did this. This lady's still here to talk about it. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. My grandma would have did luckily. this. Shit, dog. Yeah, luckily. She's very lucky. Mm hmm. Who the boys are still in the car? Because they were expecting me to get out the car. So they're still in my back seat, the two young ones. And so they hollering, let us out, let us. I said, nope, y'all going with me to the police. So Dang. I drove down the block about a half a block, mm. and they eventually jumped out and rolled away. Of course, police suggest that you just give up your vehicle or any other <laughs> items when held at right. gunpoint. She's a former Air Force vet who says she mm. drew on her military train. So she's an Air Force vet. Damn. They fucked with the one grandmother. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> who had a clue. Yeah. That's what Force it takes. Vet who says she drew on her military training to stay calm in this incident. Uber recently told News 4 that it's taking steps to keep its drivers in the DMV safe with new policies that will take effect in the new year, including rider verification, so drivers can feel safe with who they're picking up. Prince George's. So they can discriminate the just like Airbnb. Remember Airbnbs? Blacks discriminate just as much as white on air mm -hmm. black renters. Uh, yeah, it's, no, it's more, right? The black yeah, yeah, more so. More. Black people are more yeah. so likely to, if they see a black sounding name on the on the thing, they're, they're more likely to discriminate because they know they know way they know more than white people. White people dumb gullible as we see. Right. Blacks, no, we know. Oh shit, some niggas like so it's like um that's what it this is that's what's gonna happen. That's basically what with, with this rider verification. You're gonna see DeAndre and Quantisha and you like fuck no, I ain't taking that ride. Um salute 